Okay, when you're done with your in-camp inspection, you're going to come to the front of the truck with the key in your pocket. You're going to look and make sure the truck's not leaning left or right, which would indicate a suspension or air leak issue. We have our clearance lights. They're properly mounted secured, not cracked, damaged, or broken. They're working, and they're amber in color. Headlight housings on both sides are properly mounted secured, not cracked, damaged, or broken, and they're clean. The high beams and low beams on both sides are properly mounted secured, not cracked, damaged, or broken. They're working, and they're clear in color. We have our multi-function lights on the top corners. They're properly mounted secured, not cracked, damaged, or broken. They're working. They're amber in color, used for your left turn signal, your right turn signal, and your four-way flashers. As we stand back, we're gonna make sure there's nothing, no leaking puddles or anything underneath. There's no hanging wires. After that, we're gonna go ahead and open the hood. There's a latch on both sides. Go ahead and open up the latches. Contact the same clear. Okay, as we move over here, we have the DEF and exhaust system. It's properly mounted secured, it's free of black soot and not leaking. We also got to check that the rear of the cab. So, back here, you have the DEF and exhaust system back here. You want to make sure it's properly mounted secured, free of black soot, and it's not leaking. We have our windshield washer reservoir. It's properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking, and it's filled properly. And down here, alternator. You have an alternator. It's properly mount secured, not crack damage or missing any nuts or bolts, and the wires are not torn, cut, or frayed, and it's belt driven. The belt here is properly mount secured, not crack damaged, cut, torn, or frayed, and it has no more than three quarter inches of slack at the longest point. Then we'll go on the other side. Coolant reservoir. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. It's filled to the proper level. All the hoses, there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and it's not leaking, and all the clamps are intact. As we move down here, those hoses lead to your water pump. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing any nuts or bolts, and it's not leaking. It is belt driven. The belt is also properly mount secured down here. It's properly mount secured, not torn, cut, or frayed, and it has no more than three quarter inches of slack at the longest point. As we move back, we have our oil dipstick. To check the oil, we'd pull that out and check it, and we'd add oil as necessary. Over here, back here, you got an air compressor. Air compressor is properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking it's not missing any nuts or bolts and it's also gear driven the power steering pump reservoir is properly mount secured not crack damage or leaking it's filled to the proper level the hoses there's no abrasions bulges or cuts and it's not leaking the clamps are also intact these hoses go behind the frame it goes to your power steering pump back here your power steering pump is properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking, and there's not missing any nuts or bolts, and it's gear driven. Okay, we have our steering shaft is properly mount secured, not crack damage or bent. It's not missing any nuts or bolts on the bottom or top. We have our steering gearbox. It's properly mount secured, not crack damage or missing any nuts or bolts, and it's not leaking, and there's no illegal welds. Pitment arm, it's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or bent, it's not missing any castle nuts or cotter keys. Right here, you got a drag link. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or bent, and it's not missing any castle nuts or cotter keys on each end as well. We have your lower and upper knuckles. Properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or bent, and it's not missing any castle nuts or cotter keys. Back down here, you have your tie rod. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or bent. It's not missing any castle nuts or cotter keys as well. As we move back, we're going to do the suspension. Right here, 
We have our leaf spring mount. There's also a little one back here. Leaf spring mount. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing any nuts or bolts, and it's free of any illegal welds. You have your leaf spring. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or shifted. You have your two U-bolts. Properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or bent. They're not missing any nuts on the bottom. Shock absorber is properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. It's not missing any nuts or bolts. As we move back, we're gonna do the brake system now. So right here, you have your air lines. Your air lines are properly mount secured. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. You have a brake chamber. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking, and it's not missing any nuts or bolts. Slack adjuster and push rod are properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or bent, and it has no more than one inch of play by hand with the brakes released. As we move in, in here you got a brake drum. The brake drum is properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing, and is free of any oil or grease residue which would cause failure. The brake shoes are properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or uh, missing, and there's no less than a quarter inch thick of pad left on it. Okay, the tires, we're checking the tread depth, checked with the gauge, no less than four thirty seconds of an inch. The sidewalls, there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and this rim is properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, warped, or bent, and it's free of any illegal welds. The DOT valve stem is properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing, it's not leaking. The lug nuts are properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing, and they're free of any rust trails, which, which would indicate looseness, and then we need to be tightened. Hub seal is properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking, it's not missing any nuts or bolts, and it's filled to the proper level. This whole tire, checked with the gauge, needs to be no less than 100 PSI. We have our splash guard, here and right here. Splash guard is properly mount secured, not crack damage, missing any nuts or bolts. Okay, as we move back to the left side of the tractor, so we got a marker light. The marker light is properly mount secured, not crack damage or broken. It's working and it's amber in color. Used for your left turn signal and your four ways on this side. Make sure the door opens and closes properly. We're going to check the Make sure they're properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or bent, and they're not missing any nuts or bolts. Want to make sure the battery box is properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing any nuts or bolts, and it's shut closed. The steps are properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing any nuts or bolts, and it's free of any debris. The def cap and fuel cap are properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing. They're not missing any seals, and they're not leaking. The def tank and the fuel tank are properly mount secured, and the straps around it are tight. Underneath, we wanna make sure underneath the def tank and the fuel tank that it's not leaking. And inside here, we're gonna have three things. The fire extinguisher, it's properly mount secured, it's fully charged, and at least a 10 BC for hazmat. We're going to make sure our three reflective triangles are in here and our fuses and breakers. As we move back, we're going to make sure the rear of the cab is intact. It's not missing any panels or rivets. We're going to check our air lines, also known as glad hands. They're properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're secured to the front of the trailer and the rear of the cab. We're gonna check our electrical line. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, cut, torn, or frayed, and it's also secured to the front of the trailer and the rear of the cab. The catwalk and steps are properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing any nuts or bolts, and it's free of any debris. The frame is properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, missing any nuts or bolts, and it's free of any illegal welds. Underneath, in the middle of the frame, you got a drive shaft. It's right in the middle. The drive shaft is properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or bent, and it's free, and it doesn't have any uh, missing nuts or bolts. 
we're gonna do a suspension. Right here, you got your leaf spring hanger. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing any nuts or bolts, and it's free of any illegal welds. Connected to that, you're gonna have a leaf spring. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or bent, and it's not shifted. It's not missing any nuts or bolts. Inside, you're gonna have U-bolts. These U-bolts are properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or bent. They're not missing any nuts on the bottom. Behind that, you're gonna have an air, uh, a uh, shock absorber. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. It's not missing any nuts or bolts. And behind that, you're gonna have an airbag. The airbag and airbag mounts are properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, missing any nuts or bolts, and the airbag's not leaking. Okay, now we're gonna do the brakes. Right here, you have your airline. Airlines go down to your brake chamber. The airlines are properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The brake chamber, right here, the brake chamber is properly mount secured, not crack damage, missing any nuts or bolts, and it's not leaking. We're gonna check our slack adjuster and push rod, which come out the um, brake chamber. Slack adjuster and push rod are properly mount secured not crack damage or bent and there's no more than one inch of play by hand with the brakes released okay as we move back in here we're going to check our brake drum brake drum is properly mount secured not crack damage or missing it's free of any oil or grease residue which would cause failure then we're going to check the brake shoes make sure they're properly mount secured and there's no less than a quarter inch thick pad left on the shoe okay as we move back we're going to check the bud wheel Make sure it's evenly spaced and free of debris. Okay, we're gonna check the tire tread depth. Checked with a gauge, no less than two thirty seconds of an inch. Go ahead and take this off. Then we're checking the sidewalls to make sure there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. And this whole tire checked with a gauge, no less than 100 PSI. The rim is properly mount secured, not cracked, dent, damaged, warped, or bent. It's free of any illegal welds. The DOT valve stems are properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing, and they're not leaking. We got our lug nuts. Lug nuts are properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing, and they're free of rust trust, which would indicate looseness, and then we need to be checked and tightened with a lug wrench. Axle seal is properly mount secured, not crack damage, missing any nuts or bolts, and it's not leaking. It's also filled to the proper level. I'll let the examiner know everything I just checked on this axle. I would then check on that axle. Now I don't have to. While we're sitting here, we're gonna do the fifth wheel. So you got your apron, which is this piece of metal, and a kingpin, which is inside of the skid plate. It's connected to the apron. So apron and skid, and kingpin apron and kingpin are properly mount secured not crack damage or bent and the locking jaw is fully locked around the kingpin you want to make sure there's no gap in between the apron and skid plate right here no daylight the skid plate is properly mount secured not crack damage or missing any nuts or bolts and it's free of any illegal welds the release arm is properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or bent. It's in the fully locked position, which is inward. Right here, this little triangle piece. The triangle here is your uh, skid plate platform. It's properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, missing any nuts or bolts. And then this whole sliding platform right here is your fifth wheel sliding platform base. The fifth wheel sliding platform base is properly mount secured not crack damage, missing any nuts or bolts. That's free of any illegal welds. And right here you have one, two, three pins. These are your fifth wheel sliding locking pins. They're properly mount secured, not crack damage or bent, and then the fully locked position, which is outward. Okay, before we move all the way back, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the front of the trailer so I don't forget. The bulkhead. So the front of the trailer is properly mount secured. It's not missing any rivets or panels. On the very top, we have a clearance light way on the top corner of the trailer. The clearance light is properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or broken. It's working and it's amber in color. Okay. I'm gonna 
finish up this real quick. Mud flaps are properly mount secured, not crack damage or missing any nuts or bolts. The splash guard up front, you can also say this with the mud flaps, the splash guard is properly mount secured, not crack damage or missing any nuts or bolts either. The DOT tape is properly mount secured, not crack damage or missing, it's red and white in color. You got your left turn signal, your right turn signal, your four ways, and your brakes. Those are all the same lights. They're properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or broken. They're working and they're red in color. You got a reverse light. The reverse light is properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or broken. It's working and it's clear in color. Okay. Now we're looking down the side of the trailer, making sure that we're not missing any rivets and no panels are missing. We got our DOT tape along the side of the trailer. The DOT tape is properly mount secured, not crack damage or missing, and it's red and white color and it covers at least 50% of the side of the trailer. And down here we're looking at the frame of the trailer. The frame of the trailer is properly mount secured, not crack damage, missing any nuts or bolts, and it's free of any illegal welds. The landing gear is in the fully up position. It's free of any debris. It's properly mount secured, not crack damage, missing any nuts or bolts. And the crank handle is in the cradle. Marker light. It's properly mount secured, not crack damage or broken. It's working. It's amber in color. Used for your left turn signal on this side and your four ways. We have Air lines and electrical lines. The air lines are properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The electrical line is properly mount secured, not torn, cut, or frayed. And all these lines at the lowest point need to be at least 18 inches off the ground. You got your tandem release arm. It's properly mount secured, not crack damage or bent. It's in the fully locked position, which is inward. Lee spring mount is properly mount secured, not crack damage or missing any nuts or bolts. It's free of any illegal welds. Your leaf springs are properly mount secured, not crack damage or shifted. And in here, you're gonna have your U-bolts. Your U-bolts are properly mount secured, not crack damage or bent, and they're not missing any nuts on the bottom. Okay, we're gonna do the brakes. Properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It goes to your brake chamber on this side. Your brake chamber is right down here. Brake chamber is properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking, and it's not missing any nuts or bolts. We're gonna check the slack adjuster and push rod. Slack adjuster and push rod. Near the brake chamber is properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or bent, and it has no more than one inch of play by hand with the brakes released. Okay, and on the inside of the rim, you have your brake drum. Make sure they're properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or missing, and it's free of any oil or grease residue which would cause failure. And the brake shoes are properly mount secured, not cracked, damaged, or uh, missing and no less than a quarter inch thick of pad left on the shoe. Okay, as we move back, we're gonna check the tire tread depth, check to the gauge, no less than 2 30 seconds of an inch. The sidewall, there's no abrasions, bulges or cuts and this whole tire checked with the gauge, no less than 100 PSI. The rim is properly mass secured, not cracked, damaged, warped or bent, free of any illegal welds. The DOT valve stems are properly mount secured, not crack damage or missing, and they're not leaking. Lug nuts are properly mount secured, not crack damage or missing, and there's no rust trails, which would indicate looseness, and they would need to be tightened. Axle seal is properly mount secured, not crack damage, missing any nuts or bolts. It's not leaking, it's filled to the proper level. Then I'm gonna let the examiner know everything I just checked on this axle, I would check on that axle. And remember guys, if it doesn't have a slack adjuster and push rod, it's disc brakes. 
if it has a slack adjuster and push rod it's drum brakes no matter if we're on the tractor or the trailer as we move back we're gonna check the mud flaps it's properly mount secured not cracked damaged or missing it's not missing any nuts or bolts the door tie is properly mount secured not cracked damaged missing any nuts or bolts marker light is properly mount secured not cracked damaged or broken it's working and it's red in color ABS light is properly mount secured, not crack damage or broken. It's working and it's amber in color. And if this light stays on, it indicates there's an ABS issue. We're gonna check the doors. Make sure they're properly mount secured, not crack damage or missing. The door hinges are properly mount secured, not crack damage or bent, and they're not missing any nuts or bolts. The door seals are properly mount secured, not crack damage or missing and they're not leaking on the very top we have three clearance lights they're properly mount secured not crack damage or broken they're working they're uh, red in color the DOT tape is properly mount secured not crack damage or missing it's red and white in color down here as well you got your left turn signal your right turn signal also use that your four ways and your brake lights on the inside they're properly mount secured not crack damage or broken they're working and they're red in color the license plate is valid and up to date and the light is working the dot bumper is properly mount secured not crack damage or prevent it's free of any illegal welds it's not missing any nuts or bolts and as we step on this side I'm gonna let the examiner know everything I just checked on that side of the tractor and trailer. I would then check on this side. Now I'm done. That's the end of the pre-trip.